Clouds. What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. I know it's been a couple days and just want to show the end of the three star series from the last video and I want to explain what's been going on where I've been for three days. So just stay tuned. I'm going to talk about that. I'm not really going to commentate that much. I want to explain what's going to be coming up this weekend and uh, a lot of exciting stuff planned for it. But why have I not been uploading for three days? Good question. Main reason being is that I've been working 20 hour days for the last four to five days. I've been sleeping three to four hours a night and I haven't had time to play Clash not once. So you're probably asking, well, what have you been doing if you haven't been playing Clash or making videos? I actually own an advertising company, and some people know this. A lot of YouTubers know it. I work with some YouTubers on it, obviously, and that's uh, the biggest thing I do. So that's how I make most of my money, guys, and that is definitely how I plan to grow in the future and, you know, expand and have a good life. So I do do YouTube for fun, and I really do enjoy doing it, and I want to be consistent for you guys, but there are just some times when I have too much work to even sleep or eat and at that point, that's when YouTube needs to take a back seat to my company. Because obviously, if I'm skipping meals and I'm skipping sleeping very much, then obviously, I don't have time to make YouTube videos or play Clash for 8 hours a day. Now, of course, guys, I will be putting out videos this weekend. I have extremely fun ones planned. For example, I'll give you a hint. I am planning on doing a clan purge, so you're going to watch me massacre a part of my clan. And that'll be a lot of fun. I'll do some funny commentary on it and, uh, you know, kick some people out. Everyone always likes watching that. I also have a new dark spell idea, and I have a few other awesome videos planned for this weekend. I am probably going to stop pushing in the next two weeks here. Um, it's just really not that fun for me anymore, guys, and I just don't have the time to keep it up. For example, I really haven't been playing. I've done five raids in six days. Um, many of you may know that at this level, that's how you lose your ass on trophies. Like, literally, there's nothing you can do. Um, I didn't have time to do more than one attack every time I logged on. Sometimes I did, like, three and I lose one, so I actually lost one attack out of the six I did. Um, two were, so basically I've lost over 100 trophies in the last week. Mostly from defense, but one bad loss on offense. Uh, pretty much deleted all my progress I made in the other five attacks. So that was pretty much what's been going on, and honestly I'm not even that frustrated with it. I just don't have the time to take it that seriously right now. Pushing is something I do when I have time, and at this current moment, obviously, as I said, business is number one. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I love you as fans, and I want to make sure I get you guys to be happy, and I bring plenty of content to this channel and my other channels. But, as I said, just wanted to do a real quick explanation of why it's been three days since I posted a video. Didn't want people to think I disappeared. Um, obviously, this is a three-star video, and they're pretty easy bases. The attacks weren't anything crazy, um, but this guy is using hogs, and you can see he's going to come in and just absolutely wreck this Town Hall 8, uh, which is not hard to do. But it definitely is funny to see, like, how are you going to be at Tunnel A and be in war? Like, you're going to get wrecked. You don't have Inferno Towers. You barely have Teslas. Like, what are those Teslas? Actually, those are high level for his, for his uh, Tunnel 8. That's pretty impressive. But anyway, you really don't have much that can defend against Hogs. And uh, so, yeah, pretty much kind of screwed. Although, that is a very high level Tunnel 8, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, pretty much all I wanted to talk about today, though. I really just wanted to get that off my head and uh, let you guys know exactly what's been going on. Because I felt bad not really keeping everyone in the loop. And I was going to do a face cam video, but I decided that a little bit of gameplay in the background will be more fun for you guys. Hopefully you guys agree. Go ahead and slap that like, comment below what your thoughts are. And definitely get ready for this purge video tomorrow. Or fr Actually, you know what? I'll put it out Friday. I'll put the purge video out Friday, and then I'll do the, um, oh, I almost told you what it was. The dark spell idea for Saturday, and I think you guys will really enjoy that. I'll try and get another video out that's different than both those for tomorrow, because I had planned on doing the purge tomorrow, but... I think Friday is more of a purge kind of day if you don't, you know, if you don't really want to go and kill people on a Sunday. Friday is a good day to do it. But here we go. Last but not least, here is a Town Hall 9 attack. And uh, it's actually pretty solid. I mean, he's got an interesting force. He's using Valkyries, Hogs, and also Golems and Wizards. So, kind of curious. He does have a Poison spell he's going to use. And he does have a Jump spell, 2 Rage, and 2 Heal. Those heal spells will probably help a lot. I'm guessing the Valkyries will really rip it up. And, uh, because the Infernals will really wreck Valkyrie, but, you know, Valkyries got a lot of health. They're kind of like little golems, but they have a ton of attack power. Although, do me a favor, guys. Comment below. Let me know. Do you use Valkyrie? Because I feel like a lot of people just don't use them anymore, and I feel like they're a very underrated troop. And if you think they're underrated, go ahead and let me know that. If you think they're just not good enough to uh, be part of a main force, you can also let me know that. 
I know some people really like him, but like it's very rare to get attacked with Valkyrie. Um, even part of a composition, not even like a full force. It's just super rare for people to use them, which is strange to me because they are super strong and super high health. And they do multiple damage to like multiple buildings at a time. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know a really good strategy with them. I think that's a really big problem is no one has like a perfect strategy. I know there's strategies out there. I just don't have a strategy that works for me. And that's the main issue I run into. So, it's kind of hard for me to tell how I should use them or why I should use them. But dang, that center's getting wrecked. Holy crap. That was crazy. Those Valkyrie, Golems, and King just went in and wrecked this middle. Oh my god, look at that. Woo. That double rage though. Oh my. And the King and Queen still have their abilities. This is insanity. 60%. Absolutely wrecking. And uh, definitely not a hard base to beat, but definitely really cool to watch that center go down in like milliseconds from all that power. Now... I don't know what's going on here. That Valkyrie kind of like skipped that wall. Although the wall is about to be destroyed. Which is fine, I guess. Whatever. Not really important. But they do a great job in taking out wall sections, guys. I mean, seriously a great job. And look at this. This double hammer time takes out both buildings, basically. The king, of course, is helping. Uh, but they definitely do a lot of damage together. And they do it fast. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the end of this video. But I have a special guest here to say goodbye. Hey, what's up, guys? Nick and I here, and as always, everything Clash of Clans, you know what to do because you're already doing it. Keep it tuned right here. I'm Nick and I, and we'll talk to you guys in the next episode. All right, guys. See you next time. Peace.